Let's create the app icon for our app. If we click the main solution at the top and we click on the general tab and we scroll down, we can see a section called app icons and launch images. In here, we already have an app icon defined. If you click the arrow next to it, it'll take you to assets.xcassettes and in there we have to specify an icon for every single one of these images. If you don't have them, Apple will reject your app. Now, each of those devices has a different icon size that's required and it's somewhat of a pain to create an icon for each of those. So, what we can do is we can create our icon at a high resolution. So this is currently 512 by 512. We can save it as a PNG. So I'm just going to pop it there and say RSS icon and PNG because it supports transparency. And once you've done that, go back over to the internet. And there's a great website called makeappicon. Dot com. Alternatively, I have this great tool that I believe I showed you earlier in this series called Asset Catalog Creator that will create an iOS icon. I think it costs something like £3 or $5 on the App Store and it is well worth it if you make apps. It's called Asset Catalog Creator for those that want to download it. I'm just going to use the free web version here and what I'm going to do is just drop my saved icon in, RSS icon, and what this does is it bakes all of the images that you need. And there we have all of our images. It says pop it an email address, I'll just put a fake one for the purpose of this tutorial. Ah, it asks you for a real one, so I'll put my junk one that I send everything to. At G And here we have all of the icons from makeappicon.com. And it gives us Android, iOS, and WatchKit, so we can have it for all of those devices. We just want it for iOS, and what we have to do is go ahead and drag these items into our Xcode. And we have to do it into the relevant spots. So I'll just show you the first one. This is quite tricky to get right, two times what we could do, however, is simply to right click and click show in finder. And then I'll just bring it up here. And once we have it in the finder, if we go back to the file we just downloaded and we go to app icon icon set, let's just copy all of those straight into that folder. And if we come back to Xcode, all of that should be assigned now. And so now we have our app icon. If I run that on our simulator, the app icon should pop up on the main screen. As soon as it loads, I'll hit home. And there we have it. And I think that looks quite nice, actually. So I'm just going to drag that. Well, I'm going to try and drag it into here to see what it looks like compared to everything else, and I kind of like it. And if I hit the switcher, we can also check what it looks like up at the top, and it's good. Now, if you come to Apple's guidelines, they do have guidelines for uh, what an app icon should be. If I go back one, and they tell you an app icon should portray exactly what your app does. And for us, the RSS symbol is actually orange and white, and I've used an open source version of that, and I've just painted it in our app colors. So when you're creating your icon, it should absolutely scream at your user exactly what it needs to do. And that concludes creating an app icon for our app.